welcome back to Treasure Hound. We got another exciting video for you. We got a new package today. I'll cut it open. I don't know what's in it. It's gonna be some sort of sports cards. I'm not sure which. Um, it upside down again. Not to show my address. I learned from last video to close that box cutter. It'll get you if you don't. Oh boy, this is gonna be a mess. Alright, let's see if I can get it. I can use a bag or something. Oh, one second. Sorry. Didn't expect all this. Turn off this phone. Alright, so there's our package. Oops, nope, looks good. All right, so. <laughs> Didn't mean to make you guys feel an earthquake there, but. All right, so this is in our bag of cards. I believe this is from the box break again. So carefully try to open this. Too deep in. Do some damnation. There we go, some goodies. Put this out of the way. Alright, so again, if you didn't see my other video, I did uh, some box breaks for sports cards where you kind of bid on a number and uh, you get a, a randomized team given to you. And then once they open up a box of cards, you get all the cards for that team. Um, so we're gonna open this up and see what we got. I don't even know. What do we got here? All right. We got. Oh, this looks like a pack of cards here. A few of them in this little baggie. Take them out. We have an Anthony Alford. Uh, tools of the trade. This is numbered 35 out of 99. From Pittsburgh, that's nice. Out of 99, can't complain, that's good. A uh, real nice shine to it. These should be straight out of a pack too, so a lot of them might be good enough for grading. I'm gonna have to check values. Oh, look at that, rolly fingers. <laughs> that's a old school player, but new school card. I think it's just a base card from uh, Topps, Topps Chrome or something, I'm not sure. But uh, cool looking, yeah, probably not worth a whole heck of a lot. Again, I'll look these up. We'll see if they're worth anything. Anything that is, I'll probably send it out. This one they didn't even put in a top loader. It's just in a sleeve. So that's definitely a base card. Uh, Brian Reynolds. Um, not numbered. Kind of whatever on that card. Here we go. Now this looks interesting. Rodolfo Castro. Tops clearly. Uh, look at that. You can see my fingers underneath the card because it's a, like a translucent kind of looking card. Um... This is a rookie card. Not numbered though, so I'm a little surprised, but that is a neat card. It's got the autograph on it. Um, really cool. I like the look of that one. And since it's already in case, don't need to send it to get graded or anything unless I want to. Probably don't want to, but we'll see. But I'll look these up, check it out. That's it for that pack. There's another one. Tom Glav, I think it's Glavine, I don't think it's Glavine, but forgive me, Braves fans. Another looks like base card. This one they put in a top loader. I don't know why they didn't do it with the other one, but looks base card, so we'll just move it over. Greg Maddox base, um, yeah. It's actually coming up a bit, there we go. Nothing special, but again, I like the look of these cards. I like those tops chrome, they look good. There's a Chipper Jones coming out of his case too. Also another base card. Um, don't know if they're worth anything though. They still might be worth something just because they, they do look like quality cards. They're very thick for, for a single card that's not a relic. Um, so it might be something decent. And look, we got another uh, another translucent looking one. This is Andrew Jones. Um, very cool looking card from Clearly Authentic. I'll have to look that up also. Not numbered, but Clearly authentic are usually pretty pretty decent cards. Um, it's a, one of those packs where it's one card in the whole pack. So I must have got real lucky to to get the one card on my team there. So it looks like I did it a couple times. So maybe it'll be worth something. It's uh, just the one card. 
Don Carlos Stanton of the Yankees. Again, another base card. Don Mattingly base card. Um, neither one numbered, but still. Like I said, cool, durable looking cards. I'll check them out. I'll save that one for the last. Okay, this looks like another. Get it out of this. On the back, it says it's an Alexander Wells from the Orioles pitcher. Uh, you received an autographed card, so let's take a look. Oh, that's nice looking. Number 97 out of 99. Uh, very cool. Very cool. It's got the green background there, too. I don't think the others had green. No, they're more silver. So I don't know if it's, that's the number 99 has a little green refractor kind of thing. And that's the indication that it's out of 99 on, on top of the fact that it says out of 99. Um, Nine Orioles fan, don't know who Alexander Wells is, but again, I'll look it up. We'll see. Maybe he's decent. Maybe it's worth something. So i got some research ahead of me to do. Um, and then we have one more little pack here. Let's see if I can get it open. Start with, oh boy, some of these are just in penny sleeves, so I guess we'll start with those. That means that they even acknowledge that they're not worth a whole lot. Bryce Harper, Pure Power. I wish they didn't do it. Look at how bowed that is. It's got an angle to it, thanks to the penny sleeves. Wish they would have put it in top loader. Um, so that's his Pure Power card. This is his uh, regular Bryce Harper base card for this. So what is this? A Topps what? Topps Pristine. Uh, Mike Schmidt, Rice Hoskins. Don't know who that is, but we'll see about getting those in top loaders in a moment here and try to give them a little more, more protection. They're probably not worth much, but we'll check it out. Oh, there we go. That's a cool looking card. Look at that. This is a Topps Chrome Ryan Howard. Um, it's not numbered though. It's got that interesting refractor quality to it, but not numbered. So, and that's not an authentic autograph. That's just printed on the card, but still a cool looking card. Um, yeah, I'll need to research that also to see what exactly this is. Um, cool, Ryan Howard. And then the last one out of that pack today is this auto, um, Akil Badu, the, what does it say, now generation? I thought it said new, but I think it says now generation from Detroit Tigers. Uh, numbered 15 out of 50, another clearly authentic, so I, I must have got real lucky there with the clearly cards. Um, this one also transparent. You can see my fingers behind the signature line in particular. Um, very neat. I like it. I really like these cards. Uh, they're very expensive though for one single card. I think it's like 100, 150 bucks for a box uh, where you get one card. So odds are these aren't worth 100 or 150 bucks, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're closer to 50 dollars or so. But it's neat that they come in like the sealed case already. You don't have to worry about protection. It's already there and secure. So, all right. We'll be doing some research on those cards, and I'll let you guys know in a future video what any of them are worth, especially if they're noteworthy. Uh, until then, I'll see you next time.